runoff from this week's heavy rains have rivers raging in many parts of the state. The Salt Fork briefly overflowed its banks. To prevent major flooding, the Army Corps of Engineers is carefully regulating river flows in and out of the lakes it uses to hold back excess water. Once they, uh, the rivers start going back down, then of course we can start emptying out the lakes because we had to stop and capture all that water coming in to help prevent any flooding going on downstream. Lakes behind the Corps' dams are expected to be packed this weekend as people enjoy hot sunny weather by going boating or swimming to celebrate Father's Day. To prevent drownings, the Corps and marina owners are urging caution, especially since the water in most lakes will be several feet above normal. And we want people to be very careful out on these lakes because there's going to be debris washing into the uh, lake and uh, also there's going to be things now covered up by the higher water that you wouldn't uh, uh, know it was there. The high water has some picnic areas and campgrounds underwater, so about the only ones we'll be able to use this particular picnic table are the ducks. Josie and Owen like boating with their parents. They know before the boat leaves the dock, by law, kids must be wearing life vests. Why? Because there's deep parts and you might drown. Most drownings happen because of negligence it's you know so make sure you're wearing PFDs. The Lake Patrol will be out in full force this weekend too. They'll cite boaters that don't have personal flotation devices or allow children to go without. It's also a good idea to use life vests at swim beaches. We've had some very very unfortunate uh, uh, incidents where young people have drowned because they didn't have a life preserver on. Drownings can happen on rivers too as Ross Adkins nearly discovered the hard way. Water moving this quickly is very, very dangerous, and it'll get away. I know I'm, I'm a prime example of having that happen just a few weeks ago where high water caught me and put me in my canoe into a log jam. Fortunately, there were some people there to help us out, and we were wearing our life uh, jackets. On the Arkansas River, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.